Diamond. What a mighty God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We give God the glory and the praise unto the darling Son, Jesus Christ, who has blessed our life. He will allow us to be here one more time. Amen. In his mercy and his graceful situation. I want to thank God for all of you who stood by us. Able to stay, and some who have to go. We thank Amen. God for them. Amen. Amen. God is able. Amen. Yes, He is. We yes. want to lift up a word. All right. On a special Sunday. Let God know He's worthy. Isn't that right? Amen. Truly, we want to share thanks to, Amen, to the deacons and to the officers of this church, to those who are tuning in for this setting. Amen. I wore my mask, and I don't forget that, Amen. We're still in the pandemic setting. Mm -hmm. There are still some. Hospitals that are still filling up. Yes, Lord. Some emergency rooms, they don't have room for. Mm -hmm. So I share with you, don't take things for granted. Mm -hmm. Amen. God is still looking over us. He's protecting us. Mm -hmm. but don't take things lightly. Amen. There's a lot of people going around here thinking, amen, that it's all over. But it's not over not yet. yet. Y'all can believe that? Yes, sir. Amen. amen. So pray with and for me on this. I want to share a couple of scriptures which today would be more than one. All right. One uh, set of our scriptures coming from the book of Ephesians. The other scripture be coming from John, the Gospel of John, All right. chapter 14. This first scripture comes from Ephesians chapter 2. All right. Starting with verse 8. He says, For by grace are you saved mm -hmm. through faith. Through faith. And not that of yourselves. It is not the gift, it is, it is the gift of God, mm -hmm. not of works, mm -hmm. lest any man, any man should, should boast. boast. For we are mm. his workmanship yes, sir. in Christ Jesus unto good works, good work. which God had before ordained mm -hmm. that we should walk in them. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 John chapter 14. Starting with verse 1, mm -hmm. he says, Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. Mm -hmm. I, go, I go, this is Jesus saying, I go, I go. to prepare a place for you. Mm -hmm. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will mm -hmm. come again mm -hmm. and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there ye may be also. So in verse 5, mm -hmm. Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not whether thou goest, mm -hmm. and how can we know the way? Mm -hmm. Jesus said unto him, I am mm -hmm. the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Jesus said, I am, and I'm in the way. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by me. I am the way. So our topic this morning, we're talk about follow his grace. Follow, follow. his grace. Oh, amen. Follow amen. his grace. Amen. Follow Jesus' grace. His grace and mercy is sufficient. Whatever he calls for, whatever he does, is sufficient. Anybody can agree with that? Yes, sir. That amen. God has been good to you. Yes, has he been good to you? Yes, sir. He's yes. been good to me. And yes, I want to share some writings and hope you don't... It may get too bored with it, but I gotta see some of this stuff because I thought it was interesting that they wrote it like they did. Amen. Right. Amen. I'm not good at writing too many notes, so I take some from Amen certain places. Amen. amen. But this key in this topic, Amen, when it shares follow His grace, mm -hmm. we ought to be journeying God mm -hmm. in His good works. Amen. God has some good yes, works good work. yes, for us to do. Yes, He does. I'm Grief, and I really thank God for Pastor Joseph. He shared with me that him and his wife mm -hmm. are out there feeding the hungry and helping those, and they're still not through yet. In the rain, mm -hmm. they were out there feeding people. I said, "Boy, you, you, you know, I'm getting a little older, I guess." <laughs> but I, he, he did admit it got to him after a while. He said, "He said I feel it too, Pastor." <laughs> but he said they're not through yet, and they're not going to give up. But the key factor is they're doing good work. Somebody, Amen. somebody Amen. needs some help. Amen. Somebody been needing some help all year long. Amen. But it's Amen. something about Thanksgiving. Yes, sir. Something about this time of the year mm -hmm. that your heart and your mind yes. tends to open up. Yes. 
amen, to helping somebody else. Yes, sir. If we left to ourselves, we usually focus on what we want mm -hmm. and how we might get it. All right. Being stuck in a self-focused life. Anybody ever been stu uh, stuck in that? Yes, sir. A self-focused life. You, do yeah. you remember that? Yes, sir. You remember that old self? Yes, sir. What I want. I'm working toward what I want. All right. And what I can get. Right. And when God changed your heart, amen, if I thought you was going crazy, you giving up? Yeah. Amen. Even my wife, we're going to pay this much? Yeah, we're going to pay that much. We're going to give God a little bit of everything. Yeah. Amen. Right, amen. We started learning that, and God started blessing us, amen, in a whole different way. Amen. But you don't know how God can bless you. Till you give in that whole different way. Amen. Somebody going to hear me, is that right? Amen. Amen. So therefore, we, are, we were stuck in a selfish life before God changed our life. Amen. Even though such a life is full of pleasure seeking, mm -hmm. it rarely works because we get addicted to wanting more of whatever pleasure we chase. Mm -hmm. Amen. We'll chase pleasure. Anybody ever done that? The Amen. more money I make, the more I want. Amen. Amen. I got Amen. one car, I want a better car. Amen. I got one house, I want a bigger house. Amen. Amen. Satan, the ruler of the kingdom of the air, mm -hmm. tempts us to think of number one. All right. To think of ourselves before others. Thankfully, God saves us from our sins. Amen. Even if we think we can never change, God's tremendous power can turn us around. Anybody yes, turn around? Yes, by the power of God, I've been turned around. I don't know about any of you. But by the power of God, he turned me around. I didn't look at the selfish things no more. I look at what was needed for somebody else. That, that, that's when you know God turned you around. Isn't that right? Anybody can say that? Instead of being focused on individual wants and pleasures, we can cooperate with God as he cultivates us into a character that seems to be the hands of and his feet. Come on. I want to be his hands. Yeah. I want to be his feet. God is cultivating me. Mm -hmm. He's working on me. All right. Uh, took me a while, mm -hmm. especially when I was young. All right. My mother taught me. God put people in your life yes. to teach you something. Mm -hmm. he, even my mother. My, my mother did. and My wife did. Amen. And my father did. Uh, my, my, my mother and father were very good. They both did things in different ways, right, right. But but they were helpful to other people right. in different ways. Amen. And because my mother did some things and took people in, mm -hmm. and I don't know how she had the instinct to know that this person really needed this help, mm -hmm. and we're gonna take them in. And sometimes it felt like she wouldn't consider it of my wants. Mm -hmm. so that's when right. self come in. Oh, right. Now here come Boswale in my house, mm -hmm. and he gonna be wearing my clothes. Mm -hmm. He gonna be wearing my shoes. He's going to be wearing everything, you uh -huh. know? And mama would whisper, if you share with him, I'm going to get you some more. Mm. That, that, that's what God does with you. Amen. And he tells you, if you share with them, I'm going to get you some more. Amen. And, and you can't beat God's gift. No, you can't. No, you God, can't. God gives no, to us no, in a way that we would never, never. ever believe that, hey, God, what, 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 how do I deserve this? Yeah. God will give to us. We'll never understand why God is so gracious to us mm -hmm. to give us things like he does. But he's yes, a, yes. a good God mm -hmm. and a mighty God. Isn't that right? Yes, amen. Yes. So thankfully, amen, God knows us better yes, he does. than we know oh, wow. ourselves. Yes, sir. Thank amen. You. Thankfully, God saves us from ourselves. Therefore, the biblical phrase of this is that God is rich in mercy. And I like yes, God yes. is rich yes, he is. in yes. mercy. His grace and His mercy yes, sir. is sufficient yes. in our life. Anybody believe that? Yes, sir. He's rich in mercy. God, God never runs out of ideals mm -hmm. to bring us to Himself mm -hmm. and to bring us into wholeness and abundance in life. Mm -hmm. God got more ideals than we have. Yes, we can think of a whole lot of things, but if you're really on a mission yes, for God yes. and you're really trying to do His will, yes. He got some ideals for you that you would never thought yes, of. Yes, sir. By just Walking with him, following him in his grace and yes, following his footsteps, being his hands, mm -hmm. he'll have you touch somebody that you never would have thought you would touch. Yes. The pastor Joseph was sharing, amen, just on the other day when he was preaching, amen, how God will allow him to give somebody that he'll pass by all year long. Uh -huh. And amen, Don't the heart it. says, give it to him. Yeah. He needs it today. So God invites us to partner with him amen. in loving people and Creating things that bring joy, mm -hmm. beauty, love, and well-being mm -hmm. 
to others. Mm -hmm. And it's something that makes you feel so good. Yes, yeah. sir. When you give one little old thing to somebody, you thought you ain't did much. And boy, you can see yeah. joy in their face. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You can see them shout. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. That, 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 that done made you feel so good. Yes, sir. Yeah. Amen. Look what God allowed me to do to touch somebody. Yes. To make them happy. God, yes. God is good. Isn't that right? Yes. So, such a life is so much more engaging mm -hmm. as we reach out to our friends and strangers. Mm -hmm. Reach out to our what? Friends, friends and strangers. Yes. Reach out and I would put a reach out to our family, yes. friends, yes. and strangers. Yes. So we always reach out to our family. Yes, sir. We always see what our kids need. Yes, we always see what our grandkids yes. need. Yes. But what about a friend? Yes. Yes. Have you really and God give you that detective eye? That you can detect that somebody needs something. Yes. Right. Sometimes yes. we stop using what God gives us. All right, all right. We got to detect it. And if we use it wider, we know we can detect when somebody needs some help. Yes. But, but somehow we get so busy in our own self, yes. we, we'll let something pass right by yes. that we can see somebody. And then they don't even think, I should have stopped them. Yes. I should have gave it. I should have did this. But you're not using that detective eye. Right. God gave us this detective eye. Yes. To help somebody. God Amen. created us for this because this is what God himself yes, is like. I want to be like Jesus. We are wearing little emblems. I want to be like Jesus. Yes. Do you really? Yes, Do you really want to go through and go where? See, everybody want to go to steps where Jesus step. Mm -hmm. Come on, somebody. Mm -hmm. uh, he didn't want to he didn't want to go down there to the sick. Mm -hmm. he, he didn't want to go down there to the lepers. A whole lot of people don't want to go down there graveyard. That fool yeah. chained down. And he broke loose to put the chain down there. I ain't going down there. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm? But God will. God will break you down yes, there. Yes, will. you don't hardly ever go. Mm -hmm. Somebody going to catch it after a while, right? Yeah. This is how we partner with God in the midst of simply being a neighbor mm -hmm. or doing our job. Being a neighbor or doing oh, our, our job. job. Yes, the key is to sensing God's invitations is to respond to each little nudge from God. You ever get a nudge from God? Right. God nudges you, amen? Uh, you get a nudge from God to make that phone call. Mm -hmm. You get a nudge from God to send that call. Yeah. To make God to, to make yes, that sir. phone call. Yes, to send, amen. To, to encourage, amen, and comment on somebody. To encourage yes. them to preach a good sermon. Yes. To sing a good song. Yeah. To call somebody else. Yes. Let it be known that, amen, I'm working and I'm doing God's work. He's calling me to do his work. Yes. God is an artist of the heart. Yes. He, he knows artwork. Uh, yes, he, he, does. He, he has great artwork. Yes. Yes. When I think about it, how somebody can picture some art. Mm -hmm. You ever seen art? I, I got a cousin. And if you ever come to my house, I think Pastor Joseph has seen it. Hey, man, they got a picture of me and Sister Como up there in the front. Our cousin drew that picture. Mm -hmm. off of one, and that picture looked just like us. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, it even bring out some characters that I hadn't seen. Mm -hmm. Come on, somebody. And that's what God does. God, God, amen, is that kind of an artist. Yes. And there are about four things I want to share before I, amen, be uh, uh, dull you out, and amen, for this sermon. But I want to share that there are four things. Hit, one thing about God is his grace, mm -hmm. his beauty and love of fellowship. Right. The joy of giving. Right. And, of course, the work of salvation yes. that God has given us. Amen. He's great. Paul described to the Ephesian church that natural state of those who don't follow Christ. Mm -hmm. The natural state of those who don't follow Christ. Because you are following your sinful desires and thoughts. The Bible clearly says, states that you are doomed. Mm -hmm. Objects of God's wrath. I don't know about you, but I don't want to be an object of God's wrath. Does anybody want to be there? Mm -hmm. But God has a plan. And his plan is in a person called Jesus Christ. What did God do? Mm. He made Christians spiritually alive in Christ mm -hmm. with incomparable riches untold. Mm -hmm. we, we got incomparable riches untold. Mm -hmm. We got some stuff inside of us. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Sister, Sister Spradley got something I can't handle. Right. She got some stuff to you that I can't yeah. mess okay. with. Pastor Joseph got some stuff. I can't mess with this stuff. Uh -huh. Sister Joseph, Sister Coleman, went out. Brother Coleman, Brother Dow too. Amen. Oh, you know, you look sometimes when Sister uh, uh, King was yes, praying sir. about the young children. Yes, there. She was trying to protect yes. those young children. Yes. They can't go do what we do. All right. They're special yes. educated. They're special yes. children. Yes, sir. So somebody has to be a voice yes. to speak for them. Yes. Somebody has to be a voice yes, to speak for us. Yes, 
when we were sinful in that sinful state and wouldn't change our walk, somebody was our walk. Yes. Somebody spoke up and let us know that you need to change your life. Yeah. That God will change your situation. Yes. You need to be committed to God's grace. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. What, amen, did God do? He made Christians spiritually alive with incomparable riches until God is pleased to share his wealth. Now, I like to that part. God is pleased to share his wealth. Yes. Anybody know God is rich? Yes, yes he is. Yes, he is. And, and we look at, it's not rich in green dollar bills. Yeah, he's rich in everything. Amen. He's rich in everything. Yes, sir. It's one thing to go to a bank and all you're going to get there is a green dollar bill. <laughs> but if you go to God, you'll get a whole lot more than that bank. Yes, sir. God, yes, sir. God is the banker yes, sir. that has everything yes, you need. Anybody yes, with us today? Amen. Uh, it's a gift. I mean, it's a gift of what? His grace. Yes, so you learn to appreciate His grace. Yes. Paul said His grace is sufficient. Yes. Come on, somebody. You believe that? And the love of fellowship, instead of being at odds with God, his children will be in fellowship with him. Right? Man is sinful and ugly inside. Mm. He's unlovable. Mm. But God, God. chooses to love the unlovable yes, and extend the mercy yes, to the unlovable. Yes, he does. Our responsibility is to receive Christ, Christ. with a heart of love. We need to say humbly, we don't deserve your grace. All right. But we're so thankful, thankful. you give it. Thank Not only are Christians forgiven, but the Father makes room for his children to sit with him in heaven now and forever in the future. Yeah. You have a place. Yeah. And don't it feel good to have a place? Yeah. I have a God to say. Come on, I got a testimony yeah. of how good God has been to me. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody can be a witness today? Yeah. And I am a testimony. I'm a living testimony. And because amen, he does that, then he has some gifts. In this part of his letter to the Ephesians, Paul once again mentions God's favor toward us who are undeserved. It is a gift. We don't know, do not work to accomplish right standing with a perfect God. No person can brag on a bag of good works saying, I have done enough to please God no, no. and make it to heaven on my own. Oh, wow. That's not the way you're going to get to heaven. Get Amen. Down. Jesus said that you got to follow me. Gotta follow, me. follow his grace. That's it. Follow his walk. Yes. Follow his talk. Yes. I got something for you called salvation. salvation. A Christian is saved by grace, by grace. through faith. Yes. Salvation is an undeserved gift. So how do we come alive in God's grace? Amen. When Jesus was raised from the dead, yeah. he did not continue to live in the tomb. Mm -mm. Right. He was raised right. from the dead. Right. I don't live here. I got to go, go and do what God has sent me to do. Yeah. Amen. He did not continue to live in that tomb. He came forth to do the impossible mm -hmm. in and through God's children. Mm -hmm. As believers, we are alive in God's grace. Mm -hmm. Raised from what we were to do what we could not do before things like, as amen, uh, Pastor said, love the unlovable, right. endure the unendurable, right, right. achieve the unachievable, yes, sir. and forgive Woo. the unforgivable. Yes. Somebody can hear me today yes, that God speaks to your heart. Yes, sir. Amen. I want to walk in his grace. Yes, sir. Who am I mm -hmm. that God can use Thank me you, to walk you. in his grace? Thank Paul writes this letter to the Ephesian readers that it might better understand God's eternal purposes for the church. One of those purposes is to reconcile people to God and to each other through the work of Jesus on the cross. Mm -hmm. God, Jesus paid the price. Yes, he did. And if I don't preach the whole gospel or whatever it is right here, amen, he died, mm -hmm. he rose, yes, and he yes. is coming back. Yes, he is. Think about your own relationship to yes, God. Sir. Amen. And other how God has brought you through yes. the miry clay. Yes, sir. Anybody been deep? Yes, sir. Anybody been so low? Yes, sir. And sometimes you don't understand God's grace until you get so low, yes. you know you didn't help yourself. You know it had to be God called some help in for you. Like he called a 911 number. I need some help. God got a 911 number. He called for you. You can't call it for yourself. God called it for you. And so therefore, amen, for by his grace, in verse 8 of chapter 2, he said, for by his grace, yes. ye are saved. Yes, sir. Through faith, yes. 
not of yourself. You can't brag. You don't have no bragging rights. You didn't did it. God do it. God brought you through. Isn't that right? So you don't have no bragging rights. It is the gift of God. He brought you this far by faith. How you do it? Trusting in his holy word. And the word says he never failed me yet. Huh? Not of good works. It ain't your works that got you here. Right, right, right. That any man should boast. You don't have no boasting rights. Amen. Not your works, but his grace. His grace. I'm walking in his grace. Yes. I'm following his grace. Isn't that right? Mm -hmm. Amen. For we are his workmanship. Yes. Created in uh, Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. And he created in Jesus Christ unto, unto. good works. Yes. In other words, I got to love somebody. Yes, sir. I may not really like what they do, but I got to love them yes. in spite of them. Yes. Amen. I don't like the thief because he's stealing from me. Oh, no. Uh-huh. He's stealing from you. Yes. But I got to love him in spite of yes. his problem. Isn't that right? Yes. Somebody will walk over there. Isn't that right? Yes. You got to do the good works. Yes, Somebody don't have what I have. Yes. Uh-huh. I can eat steak. I can eat pork chops, uh -huh. but somebody needs some help. Yeah, yeah. So on this Thanksgiving journey, yeah. I want to feed somebody. Yeah. I want somebody to say I'm not hungry no more. My stomach not growling and I amen, just do one person. Yeah, I can feel, amen, that I've done a good work for the Lord. Is that right? Yeah, and so there are four, amen, he says, which God had before ordained that we should walk in good work. What, what do I have to do? Walk in his good work. Not my good work, but God's good work. Yeah, yeah. Why should I walk in his good work? Yes, because when I was in trouble, yeah. uh -huh, he, he helped me out of my trouble. Yeah. Anybody with us better, God, oh. help me out of your troubles. So therefore, I remember God speaking to me when I was in trouble. Everybody yeah. felt God speaking to your heart. Yes, yes. He said, let not your heart be troubled. Yeah, uh -huh. You believe in God, believe all so in me. Yeah. In other words, he said, in my father's house yes, are uh, many mansions. Yeah. And it would not so I would have told you. And he said, I am uh, yeah. going to repair a place. Yeah, Doesn't make you feel good that yeah. God oh, himself. God. Is going to the power place and where he go that I might be there also. Isn't that right? And I'm so glad that I they had somebody there named Thomas. And Thomas <coughs> felt like I felt. And Thomas, amen, was understanding like I, I don't know the way, Lord. Amen. Because God Jesus said, you are going, you know the way. I said, oh no, no, no. I don't know the way, Lord. And sometimes we don't want to tell the truth that we just don't know the way. We, we don't know how to live God. Got our footsteps. We don't know how to wake up in the morning and thank him for his grace and mercy. We don't know how to let him guide our footsteps and walk through the righteous walk all day long. So Thomas owned up to the bank. I don't know, Lord. And Jesus finally told him, I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. Follow me. Follow my grave. Follow my joy. Follow my peace. Follow my love. I'm walking. I'm walking with you. And I'm walking for you. I'm going to this old rugged cross. I'm going to a place where there seems like there is no love. There's heartache and pain. He said, well, that's all right. I'm going to hang from the sixth to the ninth hour. And that's what Jesus wants you to do. Hang from the sixth to the ninth hour. And stay in your troubles. Hold on. He said, I'll be right there. I don't know about you, but I had troubles in my life. And I held on to God's unchanging hand. And it wasn't long that it came and bailed me out of all my troubles. Jesus, he made a way out of no way. Yes, he did. He died on that old rugged cross. They buried him in a borrowed tomb. He stayed there all day Friday, all day Saturday. But I heard early on the third day morning, he got up with all power in his hand. He can open doors that no man can close. He can close the door on your enemy before he get to you. Well, the mighty God we serve. Don't you serve the mighty God? 
And he said, I'm going to prepare a place for you. When you get in trouble, I'll come back yeah. to bail you out that trouble, but I'm going to still be yeah. preparing a place for you. I'm going to a place yeah. where there's no more heartaches. There's no more nothing but joy, peace, and love. Yeah. Do you want to go? Yeah. Do you want to go? Yeah. Follow his grace. Yeah. Follow his peace. Yeah. Follow his joy in everything. Yeah. Everything. Everything yeah. will be all right. Yeah. If you follow his peace. Follow his joy. Follow his grace. His grace. God's unmerited favor will guide you all the way. The doors of the church will. Ask me not, O gentle Savior, O Lord. Sister 
and cousin uh, and the loss of Sister Lisa uh, Chappelle. Thanks be to God and because we, you never know. You don't know. When your name will be on this list, let us pray for those and also pray for ourselves. And let's pray to the Lord of the harvest to bring forth workers into the vineyard. For this harvest is truly plenteous, but the laborers are few. Thanks be to God for his unspeakable gift, which is Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Thank you, Pastor Joseph. Thank all of you for praying with and for us. God has been good. It's, amen, through these holidays, amen, the Christmas and the, amen, New Year's that's coming up. Let us pray, let us be very careful uh, where we go, careful of your surroundings. Protect yourself with your mask and your medicine that you have. Yes. Allow God to protect, he can protect you, yes. but he also wants you to learn to protect yourself too. Amen, as amen. But there are some people just going around thinking it's wide open season, but I don't believe it is. Mm -hmm. I want to pray for our government, our president. Mm -hmm. I heard he made 80 years old. Amen. Yeah. <clears throat> and I thank you, man. It, it, a job like that, you can have that at my 80. I, don't, I wouldn't want no such job mm -hmm. at 80 years old. Oh, well, we but by you. God's grace and mercy, he's keeping them strong. Amen. And I think for us as Democrats, for right now, it's good. All amen. Right. We pray for the situation of, amen, the Republican setting. Amen. That God will bless us, amen, to go through these changes. Yeah, There's nothing more. Uh, I want to thank everybody mm -hmm. for your support today. It's been a beautiful day. Amen. Thank our video personnel. Amen. All amen. our workers in the amen. church. God is blessed. Amen. Amen. Nothing more to stand as we continue to. Following God's grace. Amen. Father God, we thank you. Thank you, Father. For giving us the opportunity, the challenge, and the beauty to following your grace. Yes. To walk in your footsteps, to use yes, our Lord. hands to be your yes, hands. Lord. To use our mouth to be your mouth. Yes, Lord. To use our heart to be your heart. Yes. We pray, Lord, that you bless us and forgive us for our sins. Thanks, Lord. Student us where we weak, that we can be strong for someone else. Yes. And all that we do, Lord, we want to give you the glory and the praise. Yes. Bless our viewers on this video. Bless each and every one that work in the church, those who are working around the church, those who are working on every church that's in your name. Yes. Bless in a very special way. Bless through these holidays. Protect us and God watch over us as we go to and forth and bring us back yes. safely yes. to be with one another. In Jesus' name we pray. Jesus name. Amen. Thank Amen. God.